Welcome back. The time is now 646. The U.S. Department of Education gave Fort Valley State University a multi-million dollar grant to grow the number of science, technology, engineering, and math. We talk about it all the time. It's called STEM graduates. Exactly. And our morning reporter TJ Anthony is live in studio. So TJ, how are they reacting at the school to this? Look, excited is an understatement right now for them. And many businesses are now especially looking to diversify their teams across the board. Now things may be just a little bit easier to fill that gap through the nearly $3 million grant to Fort Valley State University. If I didn't have a scholarship, I probably would not have ended up at this um, institution. The scholarship helped me tremendously. Fort Valley State University student Xavier McIntyre is glad to go through getting a higher education with a scholarship and to be on track to graduate debt free all while pursuing a degree in STEM. I always was interested in STEM um, as a young kid um, and growing up I was just always strong in the math and sciences so why not come into STEM. Now, through a nearly $3 million grant to expand Fort Valley's Cooperative Development Energy Program, the school is aiming to provide more minorities and women the chance to graduate in STEM fields. Minority students, uh, usually, they don't have the funding uh, to, you know, they're bright students, but, you know, sometimes they just, the parents just don't have the funding to send them to college. The grant will help provide some students some assistance for a degree in STEM. It's an academic scholarship, but it pays for room and board. Um, it pays for tuition. Um, so it pays for everything, uh, tell you the truth. So more students like McIntyre can go after a degree in STEM without having a heavy financial burden on their shoulders. To be able to exit school with no debt and two degrees will be something that will forever cherish. And they are about to start looking for students across the state, but especially in rural areas that want to go after a degree in STEM. Caitlin and Wani, back to you all. I mean, that's absolutely amazing and so much you could do with STEM, especially like, mm -hmm. you know, at places like Robbins. Exactly. And it's going to give so many students an opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. Now they are looking for academically bright students. If you want more details on the program and the different paths, just head on over to 13WMAZ.com. We'll post the story a little later on this morning.